Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. And explain my absence is the video before this. Uh, today, it's New Year's. I'm doing it, I'm starting it. I've only got like a couple blankets out here Christmassy because I have to, I needed to film these videos and then get things sorted out. And normally I had the little ones here, but honestly I've been buying and the they're such big presents that they've kind of just stayed in my living room instead of making the way onto that spare bed and the spare room. Like, I would have like no room. Because I do have big bags of clothes and even some toys in there already. So there really hasn't been a lot of room. So anyway, it has a vlogmas. Or like my version of vlogmas. I don't have to usually record a video. It's not really going around and doing anything. I might show decorate. So this is going to be a Walmart haul. As you know, Walmart started their Black Friday early, like all of their sales two weeks out from Thanksgiving, which has been great. I bought online. What I had been doing was uh, getting cards to buy online with the gift cards because someone recently in my town, I mean, they put it out there like a couple people were hacked and there was a hacking problem. I was like, I'm not putting my card online at Walmart to buy the gift card so I'd have to go into Walmart and actually buy the gift card which is irritating but anyway <laughs> so th the first thing I want to show is like their toys went on sale like really really well so and I didn't know they told me like they had emailed me saying expected like delivery like Monday okay and this was like still, I was still saying that Friday and I had, I hadn't shoot it to like my work email because I'm always on my work email more than my personal email for updates and stuff like that. And they freaking brought it Saturday and then they took a picture for proof of delivery. I came in Monday. I was like, what the mess? And I was like reading my emails because I didn't think to look because it, no updates were on Friday. Okay. It was like Friday at eight or something. They like emailed my work email. Okay. And they took a picture of the toys, like, in bags on concrete. I, one, thought they would be actually shipped UPS or USPS. <laughs> not, not like, brought either through a company or themselves. I have no idea in bags. But apparently that's what they did. Okay. <laughs> it would have been nice to know that. But luckily, the shop next door was open and somebody, and they put them there. But they took a picture just outside in our parking lot. I could tell it was our parking lot. It, not even in front of the store. Not even saying, hey, we we delivered them next door. We took them next door. I had to call over there and say, please, please, please. Because I, I talked to my boss. I was like, was anything laying outside? Because I was about worried they just stuck it outside. And we're off of the major house. I'm like, anybody could have come up and stolen them. But luckily, they were delivered next door. <laughs> and they were there. So the first thing I got, this is down to $20 is this frozen doll y'all can see it it has the doll okay here i'll go a little over the doll and the dress and the dress is actually short but it would have been probably perfectly fine for little natalie she's like the tallest thing for a halloween if i hadn't bought her that absolutely gorgeous thing she wore on halloween that was like a it was, it was actually the middle was velvet and it was just covered in sequins and sparkles and all this other stuff. But this is still really pretty. She'll love the doll. She loves Frozen and Frozen 2. So <laughs> that is why I got her that. That's for Natalie's the six-year-old now one of the twins. Um, if you pay attention to me on IG, you saw her on and her else just on Halloween too. Um, this. <laughs> But this was down to $10, and it was actually $10 at Kohl's, too. I saw that, like, a week later, and I was like, well, fine then. But anyway, so this was down to $10, and I thought that she would like that, too. I'm totally going mostly frozen for her for Christmas, which she will love. And this is, you style their hair all these sorts of ways. And I think you can put these in your hair, too, if you want to. With it for me, these little things. But, so she can style her hair. They're really into makeup. <laughs> Mostly, I think Natalie a little bit more than Emma, but Emma's a little too rough and tumble. But, I mean, she does, but I think Natalie's a little bit more into it than she is. Emma, the eight-year-old, she wanted another Hatch and Wall. And at first, I was like, oh my gosh. Because <laughs> Hatch and Walls a couple years ago when she first wanted one were so hard to come by. 
were so or pricey okay I tend not to go over a certain amount because like well anyway I'm a sell shopper when and there's so many kids to buy for us so hers was literally one of the most expensive things I bought um <clears throat> for her for a present <laughs> so anyway but Walmart had them $20 a piece okay now as I was ordering I kept waiting on one to go online and it just wasn't going online only this one was it was like three different kinds I'm like well fine I'm just gonna get two they only have four options like it's a mystery like you don't know which one you're gonna get hopefully she gets different ones because one's gonna be a birthday present too her birthday's January 31st I was like I might as well knock out one of her birthday presents and just get another one she'll be fine uh, so anyway, I got our Hatchimal Mystery. There's one in four. Hopefully she gets a different one <laughs> for this and her birthday. But as I said, I did get two of these. One is for her birthday. Yeah. And I got Little Miss Emma this. This little lovely little unicorn here. I like the frozen, but with unicorns that you can do their hair. I thought she'd love that. She is all unicorns all the time, everywhere. So, <laughs> big presents. Um, luckily, I did not spend a whole lot. I spent like less than a hundred on all these toys and stuff I, think I did get but my mom contributed to it like this is my present for christmas because i was looking at it and i said i'm gonna get it anyway or at least i was gonna try <clears throat> so she actually gave me the money to get it which is so funny because she bought my tv years and years and years ago as a christmas present for like 150 and it's only a 32 inch anyway they had the 40 feet insert a picture here for $88 and I still have not hooked that up. I need to before I get my tree up. It's just it's just gonna be a pain because it is big and I've got to unhook my current TV from everything. <laughs> Put that down. My current TV is actually gonna go to my nephew. Um, I mean they have TVs like he has a big TV in his room but he's taken over this. They had a walk-in closet in the boys room and he's made that into his bedroom because he doesn't want to share a bedroom with his other two siblings. This is an eighth and the 14 year old. He's crazy. Anyway, but she's been looking at getting him a smaller TV. And I said, you know, if I get the bigger TV, I'll just give you my other one. I mean, it's a 32 inch. It can stand or it can be mounted. I mean, I don't have a mount for it, but I mean, it's perfectly good. So, might as well go. Um, it's not a smart TV. This is before smart TVs started making big. So, but it served me well. It's just I wanted a bigger one. For a bigger screen for when I have more of the kids so they can get a better angle especially on this if it's pushed back um you know more towards the wall they can still probably see the tv a little bit that's why I wanted a bigger tv it's more for them than me but it's, it's fine so anyway and yeah that was one of the ones I didn't even know they weren't even supposed to deliver it it was supposed to be picked up only but they went ahead and delivered it. And I didn't even realize when I was grabbing all these toys that it was behind everything. And then they called, next door called me back. And they was like, did you have a TV? And I said, is it a 42 inch? And they go, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, they weren't supposed to deliver that. They even emailed me this morning saying I could come pick it up. <laughs> it was the whole thing. I had to contact customer service. I was being honest. Just so y'all know, I already picked up my TV. Or it was, I, I didn't pick up my TV. I said, just so y'all know, I heard you delivered my TV. Y'all weren't supposed to, but they did. Okay. okay, I had to go. I was so mad. I went the day before and I had to get some groceries. But I was, I, I had to go and then for some reason it wouldn't let me load a gift card on the self-checkout even though I had done it the week before. Whatever. So I had to go unload my car and or unload my groceries and stuff and then come back and unload the card. Very irritating to buy online uh, a week Probably a week later from all this, right? <sighs> but it turns out that the pajamas were in-store only. Even though the Ben's pajamas did not say anything about being in-store only, they were in-store only. So, I had to go at... I ended up going at 5. Luckily, I fell asleep on my couch and I ended up waking up. And I was like, why? I was super panicky that I didn't get a chance. And I looked like fine screens at the kids' pajamas you had to be in-store for. I was like, fine. So I got ready. I didn't even throw any makeup. I threw on clothes, <laughs> brushed my hair, you know, all that, and brushed my teeth, and then went. But hardly anybody was there at Walmart. Nobody was there. And it was so funny. I was watching Walmart. Like, I guess you could uh, pick up some stuff, not everything. Like, I don't think you could pick up the pajamas, but you could pick up movies and stuff. So, 
I went there for pajamas and then I got some movies too. I grabbed these for Luna's Emma. Now Emma's a size 8 but past experience have taught us that these pajamas for more just these sets not near not all of their pajamas maybe after a few few washings you know certain things you shrink washing and drying that these shrink a lot or tend to so this is a 10 12 because they didn't have eight they had seven eight and i was really worried after that first wash and you'd shrink too much for her because in length she's like an eight to ten um and now her waist is uber bitty and she does she's really particular she doesn't want anything pinned anymore but I think she'll be okay, even if we have to roll. But I loved its emojis, but I love the unicorn on this. I love the color, and they're fleece, and they're warm. So I did get her pajamas. And then I got little Mr. Nico, who's the little blonde twin in my photos. Uh, Jurassic World T-Rex. He loves dinosaurs. Both the boys love dinosaurs, of course. Uh, but <clears throat> Oh, and these were four ninety seven dollars piece, I guess. I got him that. And the twins are between like a five and a six. So a six, six, six should be fine for them. Um, so weird is the boys actually had size eight. Like they went six, seven and then size eight. Um, but the girls went six, six and seven, eight. So anyway, of course I found you know, frozen two pajamas for little Miss Natalie. So yeah. And if y'all remember last year, Maybe even the year before, I probably told y'all about it. But you, uh, we've, oh, me and my mom, like, we always split or go or pull our money and buy for the kids. Like, I buy all year round usually for the kids, and then she'll give me some money around Christmas to buy for the kids and stuff like that. Or I'll, you know, my money goes to them too. But anyway, our, we always get them pajamas. Normally, we do, I did Christmas with them on Christmas Eve normally. Um, last year was actually Christmas because that's how it worked out better for everybody. And one uh, um, thing COVID destroyed, we were going to go out of state. Like they wanted me to join them um, to New York. But all those northern states have like a three day in advance COVID test requirement. So it was going to be like almost impossible to go. <laughs> and all of us to get a passing test three days before. Because I don't think you can really get them on demand. And all of them, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so. <laughs> so it was going to be nearly impossible. But she wanted to see snow and have and have the kids have a white Christmas. Which is almost impossible. It's been about 11 years since we had a white, white Christmas in Alabama. We were supposed to go to this like house that was like on a vineyard on Lake Erie is like an Airbnb thing that gets snowed like nine out of ten Christmases <laughs> but yeah that was kind of cool so anyway why is that saying for the pajamas yeah we do the past couple of years because I saw someone else do it we've always done like I've always done hot chocolate in their pajamas or just their pajamas and I added hot chocolate and then I saw something add a coffee cup hot chocolate and popcorn and that's what I've done like the past couple of years in a box and it's been a big hit so I need to get the coffee cups and go Dollar General hopefully they have coffee cups um because they've been kind of spare on stuff because I guess everything comes from China and like I had to get the boys they both wear a medium these are on sale for five bucks these little fleecy pants and one has red and one's just black and gray this one for Caleb it's a small I probably should have grabbed him an extra small in this size, um, I might take it back and do that, or I might just grab him. I don't know. He's fine. Um, because he's so weird. Apparently, Jen keeps telling me he wears a small or extra small, and then it's better than the size 16, 18 in kids. Which I've seen their shirts. They look pretty decent on him because I know, like, about what size they were when I bought them for his older brothers. Like, he's getting their hand me downs, but they've grew out of them so quickly, it doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> But his jean size is like a 14 in the waist fits him, but it's too long in the legs. So I think he's got the longer torso shorter leg problem. Um, but yeah, I got him a small in this. These blue ones. And hopefully these fit. I'm worried about the length now. Because he's saying that 14 is too um, long. 
You just said Miss Stringy. You know? got the best part. I mean, I'll probably like getting out a little bit more. Anyway, I also got these for the two boys because they are thermal. They can wear them to bed. So I think Tristan's going to see a shirt with based on how he sleeps here. Um, but I also figured um, they would do concrete with my brother a lot. I think it's really cool some mornings, you know, in the winter. And my brother will do concrete as long as it's dry. So, he, so, you know, to go up there pajamas. But they can wear them for pajamas or, you know, for a lot of bed. And this I just grabbed because I saw, I think it was on sale for a dollar. And it's a small, so hopefully it fits Caleb. But it was on sale for a dollar, originally 11 44 And it's just a nice little gray polo and it's like really soft oh and in case you're wondering about the pajamas i already have a pair of black panther ones in five six seven for colton that i bought last year to save <laughs> so this was on sale for five dollars it's not an extra extra large whatever men's it's a small in men's and i just thought uh it's just a little windbreaker that caleb would like that so it's just fun color that little hood Honestly, most of the time in the winter, you can go around in that. You'll be flying in Alabama. <laughs> I got movies, y'all. Okay. Uh, which I normally do. Normally, I actually get seasons, but they didn't have a lot of uh, TV seasons. And I almost bought season 8 Game of Thrones. And almost bought a season of... Season 14 of Supernatural. It's honestly, I can't remember whether I had it or not. Um, I didn't have it. I have 213, but... I did remedy, remedy that recently, so, um, anyway, I got Jumanji, welcome to the ginger, it's just Blu-ray and digital, uh, for $6 or $5.96, whatever, now, however, the next level one was the same price, and this one just came out this year, because I watched it in January, um, maybe at the end of last year, so I watched it, like, mid-January at the movie theater, or most of it, and then it was during a meeting, so I had to go. But this one has Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, so I'm probably going to give the DVD away to somebody. It might be a part of a Christmas present. I do that a lot. Like, if I have room, like, I might take out the DVD out of this one and put it in here. And then take the DVD and put it in there. Because this one will have, like, two spaces for it. Because I do have a Blu-ray player. Normally, I just get DVD because they're cheaper. <laughs> but this one had both. So, honestly, they don't have that one. So, I might end up being, like, a Christmas present. This one was a Christmas present. And this is like the last movie I, I saw in the movie theater <laughs> uh, before everything shut down. And this is Sonic the Hedgehog because we took um, Caleb there for his birthday. We took Caleb and Nathan. It was the last time out to eat at a restaurant <laughs> before COVID and to the movie theater. And we saw Sonic the Hedgehog. He loved it. It's $3.96. So I was like, there's Lucas Christmas present. I've got an Indomitable, which I haven't seen yet. I'll, I always try to get little movies for the kids to watch. <laughs> so they always have something maybe newer or that they love for Disney. I like these movies too. They're cute. Um, so this would probably be mine unless I just need an extra present for the little ones. <laughs> I'll go with that. <laughs> so I'm not going to unwrap it yet. Um, this is Birds of Prey just because I wanted to see it and see how they did on this one. Um, I didn't get to see it, so it was three ninety six. So I'm gonna grab that. And this one is Detective Pikachu, and I want to say I might actually have this one. I'm not sure if I own it or not. If I own, don't own it, it might stay here. If I do own it, it's probably gonna be a present because I asked the kids, did I give you this for Christmas last year? And they go no. So I might actually own it already. I don't remember. <laughs> I have a lot of movies and some I don't really watch because they are cute. Like, more I bought them for the kids more than I was interested in actually watching them. And the last movies I grabbed were these two. Um, I grabbed two because I wanted one. But I grabbed one from my sister-in-law today. It was actually her birthday, but I didn't go over there. Um, trying to save my gas. Okay. <laughs> I have to go over there next week because it's my uh, niece's birthday on Saturday. This is I Still Believe. And this is based on Jeremy Camp's uh, life his early life and if you don't know like I didn't know until I the first time I saw him in concert was like at a baseball field like baseball stadium concert and it's sold out and he was big already like he had been big for maybe a couple years so 
so I want to say this probably takes place early 2000s. Um, somewhere around there. Um, but anyway, this story, like, and I didn't know his story until, like, he, he used to say it all the time. I don't think he says that as much anymore, but it was big then. I mean, he had been married then. It might have been, like, a few years before that. <clears throat> but he went to college. He met a girl. And he married her. And I guess he knew she was dying. I think that's the thing. Like, they knew she had cancer. She had ovarian cancer. And this she had to be, like, 20, right? Anyway, so she was there. She lived through, I think, when he first really started making it and he's a big name in Christian music um but the I still believe songs based on this and all that so anyway this is her story I saw the previews and was like I already know I'm gonna ball and everybody apparently saw this and balled so yeah so I bought this anyway this one's with like a little journal um so thought it's cute for $3.96 like yeah I'm gonna grab that so thank you for watching like and subscribe toodles